So, good day everyone. So, our topic for today is Module 1, Introduction to Information and Communications Technology. So, so ICT is also known as, as Information Communication Technology. It is important to stay updated with knowledge of the trends. We are going along with it, especially given that we are dealing with gadgets, electronics, tools throughout our lives. To be able to do that, we must know which specific tool to use to assist us in gathering this information. Diba po, when you wake up in the morning, you search for your using smartphones to read your message or to read the message of the others and check for Facebook updates. Diba po yun ang ginagawa nyo every morning. As you go out of your room, you see your father watching news from your flat screen television. You also see your younger sister watching a video she downloaded into her tablet. Your mother also, meanwhile, is preparing a meal using a recipe she just saw in YouTube. Diba kapag ka magluluto siya, may mga uh, tutorial on how to cook or bake something. And when you arrive in school, you see almost everyone busy with their smartphones. Either playing a newly downloaded online game such as Mobile Legends, Impostor, Plants vs. Zombie, and uh, walang kamatayang Candy Crush. Yan, yan ang ginagawa nyo. Or... Updating your blogs or updating their blogs, di ba yung mga iba? You along with almost everyone around you. You are drawn towards thing or two in today's technological trends. It is important to stay, stay updated palagi with the knowledge of the trends. Kung wala kasi tayong updated sa ibang mga sites or anything, especially you are dealing with gadgets and and electronic tools throughout our lives. So, to be able to that, to do that, we must know which specific tool to use to assist us in gathering this information. So, these tools may come as a hardware device or simply an application sitting in your desktop or laptop computers. As for software, we also need to know how to use some of the advanced applications. Since we are dealing with the most of the time either as a student or as a professional, example, you need to finish your homework using your spreadsheet, di ba? Yung Microsoft Excel. But you are having a hard time determining the formula to use to obtain the correct result. One of, one of the more instances is when you do your research for your thesis using online resources however it is already taking you are searching for the article you need next is so what is the use of ICT and what is the ICT covers so this subject will assist you in learning about current trends in ICT. Basically, I see terms as a description that you encounter but aren't aware of and how to use commonly tools and applications. Ayan. So, the discovers area of ICT, uh, it cover niya is education, for banking, for healthcare, government, business, and so many branches that you can think of. Yan. So, ito yung mga um, gamit ng ICT or Information Communication Technology. The satellites, the modems, the MP3, the e-book, like mga Wattpad. Diba? You read Wattpad. You're using desktop for technology. We use um, instant messaging for communication. Uh, ano pa? Uh, we use uh, camera phones, printers, or television for information. Oh, interactive whiteboard, meron din. Ito po ang mga tinat... Ito po yung gamit ng ICT. So, the current state of ICT technologies, these are the timeline and definition. So, di ba ang... ang... World Wide Web 
is founded or it was created by Tim Berners-Lee, right? Kung nakakaasin o nakakaalam noon. Ngayon, meron tayong kasing tinatawag na uh, timeline of web which is 1.0, the 2.0, and the 3.0. So, nowadays, most commonly influenced is the internet access. So, the acronym of internet or internet is international networking. It was developed or created by ARPANET or Advanced Research Technology I'm sorry, sorry. Advanced Research Project Agency Network. Okay. So, well, always, ang internet access is that is always under constant change due to the changing needs of consumers. The following represents the timeline of the web representation from web 1.0 up to or until 3.0. So, let's define each of the uh, timeline of internet and the first one is the one web 1.0 it was uh, considered as the foundation of web technology so the infancy of 1.0 or the purpose of of this 1.0 is the second generation of internet based services most of the internet navigators are now able to perform modifications of information and interact with one another to share ideas and knowledge. This become the advent of social networking sites, examples, wikis, communication tools, foxonomies that emphasize online collaboration and sharing among users. So, the purpose of this is was to make sure that the site access by, by an internet user is interactive. Yun. So, another trend that has been a major factor in Web 2.0 is the emergence of the mobile internet and mobile devices. Ulitin ko po, pag sinabing 1.0, ito'y tinatawag na dynamic. Mm -mm. Bakit ka mo dynamic? Kasi, ikaw lang po yung nakakakita doon sa mismong application o sa mismong portal. You can communicate to another or to other person but still, hindi mo naman hindi naman nila nakikita yung uh, kung ano rin yung nakikita mo sa sarili mong application. One of examples is the email or gmail or anything. Di ba ikaw lang yung nakaka-access ng sarili mong uh, ginagawa, ganun din siya sa web 1.0 di ba hindi yun nakikita ng mga ibang mga uh, kasama mo unlike sa 2.0, ito na yung tinatawag na you can uh, communicate one another or you can or you can uh, you make it collaboration or sharing your info or yung ginagawa mo, di ba sa Facebook, nakikita ng mga kasama yung post mo so pwede silang mag interact doon sa iyong post Pwede silang makipagkausap sa iyo by the use of GC. So kumbaga, pwede na silang mag-comment, common, I mean communicate directly to you. 'Yun ang one of example. Ang tawag sa web 2.0 is uh, static. Tawag sa kanya is static. Static. Next is the 3.0 o yung tinatawag na intelligent web. Ito yung madali mo nang mak uh, Madali mong gamitin, it's because ang tawag pala sa 3.0 is semantic web. Why? Kasi natural language search na siya. Meron na siyang data mining and machine learning. Once you want to search some reports or information on uh, Google, di ba automatically they gave you uh, information coming from the their data or database. Pag sinabing database, ito yung parang ba, uh, uh, cabinet nila. Lahat ng info nakatago. Then, kapag sinearch ng isang user or controller, agad-agad or automatically, lalabas yung mga info or mga data na gusto mong alamin. And artificial intelligent technologies. Well, one of example, si... Sino ba? Si Misimi. Di ba? Kapag ka meron kang sasabihin sa kanya, agad-agad sumasagot siya. Kilala nyo ba si Misimi? Yun yun. Ano pa yung si 
yung pan yung bagong apps ngayon or gamit ng isang Google pagka tinanong mo what is the weather for today di ba sumasagot din siya who is mm, Pia words back di ba automatic sasagot siya sa sa kanyang uh, AI ayun yun next is Yan, yan yan yung example of, or I mean the data of 1.0, 2.0, and 3.0. Dati kasi ang mostly read-only web noon is the 1.0. Konti lang yung mga sites na, na uh, ginawa na or pinablish at nakikita ng ibang tao. Noong ngayon 1996, meron po silang 45 million global users. Now, meron na ang Web 2.0 as 80,000 sites. So, ang dami niya, no, na sa Yahoo, sa Bing, sa Opera Mini, at saka sa Google. Maraming mga pinablish, marami ding user ang nag-generate, gumagamit noong 2006. Nung pinanganak na yung 3.0, ito yung tinatawag na widely write, read web. Ito yung automatic na lahat ng isi-search mo or automatic na gusto mong itanong for your report o si, minsan pa nga paggawa ng iyong web app, uh, web application meron na rin silang uploaded may mga sample na rin for mga thesis or sample of how to make robotics or, and and so and so forth yun yung gamit ng tatlong uh, timeline of triple w Yan, yung sinasabi ko sa 2.0. So, so another major of 2.0 is original. Ang sabi ko nga, ang tawag sa kanya is static web. Increasingly, websites enable community-based input, interaction, or content sharing. Yun na nga, mayroon na siyang uh, communication channel, may co uh, collaboration din. Yun yung gamit niya. Sa so, web 2.0, meron siyang mga tools.